frustrating day for the Green Bay Packers. Very frustrating. The Packers fall to 3-3, three and three, New York 27, and Green Bay 10. Today was not good enough. Give the Jets a ton of credit. They came in. They were prepared. You know, I thought our defense battled in that first half, but we didn't do enough offensively in that first half to, to even give us a chance to, to take control of the game. We've seen this offense and what it can be, but only in flashes. This is the NFL, so nobody's going to feel sorry for you. we got to fix it as a group. The players got to step up, though. The best teams are player-led teams. So it's time for us as players on both sides of the ball and on teams to like take the, truly take ownership of that. And until we get that mindset, we're going to be wallowing in this uh, you know, inconsistency. While the Packers and Jets both posted the same number of total yards, Green Bay got outrushed for a second straight contest and the Pack failed to win the all-important turnover battle, something they have not been able to do in any game this season. The Packers missed a chance to eclipse the Bears for the most regular season wins in NFL history while sliding further behind the Vikings in the division. Minnesota enters its bye week with a full two-game lead in the NFC North after earning a fourth straight victory, while the green and gold must now embark on a three-game road trip beginning with the Washington Commanders. We're a 500 football team, you know, that's the fact, and uh, it, it is what it is, and we only, we only got to just get better from there. We've got 11 games left, and I'm excited about, you know, going up to Washington next week and uh, trying to execute, uh, put together a performance, um, and, and hopefully we get a win up here.